Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Moto Edge 2021. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 500 bucks. I repeat, 500 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this phone is fully unlocked. So that means if you got Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Metro PCS, Boost Mobile, Obama Mobile, whatever service you got, this phone is gonna work. Now it comes in one color, Nebula Blue. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2460. Now that's 401 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, a plastic frame, plastic back. You got a waterproof coating, HDR10, and a 144 hertz refresh rate. I repeat, 144 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 with the Adreno 642 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Upper tier, mid-range specs, bro. Upper tier, mid-range specs. Now it's running Android 11 with the Moto skin on top. You got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 108 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second and full HD 60 frames per second. Now you got NFC, face unlock, and a fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 500 bucks, What's missing? There's no expandable memory, no wireless charge, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, and my biggest gripe with this phone, no dual speakers. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my white shoes. Calm down, right to the side of the throat. All right, here we go. Moto Edge 2021, 500 bucks. Works on all your carriers. Now, on a side note, that's kind of important because a lot of y'all got Sprint or Verizon, okay? And you're looking for that secondary phone. This is the one to check out. All right, here we go. On a side note also, the other phone to check out is the Google Pixel 5, the 5A. Now, I'm gonna talk more about that at the end. Personally, I like this phone better. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. Let me show you that real quick because I don't want to beat around the bush. Giggity. What's the difference between the Pixel 5a? Let's go ahead and unbox this real quick. Okay. Now, this is the Nebula Blue. Ooh, Nebula Blue. Okay. Now, if you look at it, it kind of looks space age. You know, the, the name Nebula Blue. If you was up in space in the Nebula, this is probably what it looked like. Let's do the smell test real quick. Mmm! The sweet smell of savings. All right, 500 bucks, savings. Let's see what else you get. Now, with Moto, simple presentations. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. 30 watt fast charging brick. And you got USB A, I believe, let's see. Yep, no, USB Type C to USB Type C charging cable. Now, I'm going to leave all of this stuff in the box because I'm going to give this away probably on my next stream. Okay, now, real quick. To me, these are the best two budget phones out right now. And when I say budget phones, I mean mid-range phones, all right? Not the bottom of the barrel budget phones, not the $200 phones, mid-range phones, phones that you can actually use, all right? You can actually use either one of these as your daily driver. So what's the difference? Personally, I would go with the Moto Edge because you got a bigger display, you got a better processor, you got a higher refresh rate, you got a bigger battery, and faster charging speeds. But with the Pixel, you're getting stock Android, so you guaranteed those updates. You got a headphone jack. You got dual speakers. All right, this one is water resistant and arguably has a better camera. So it's up to you what uh, you think is more important for your needs. Personally, I like having a bigger phone with a bigger battery for my trap phone. This phone is just a little bit too small for me, even though I love the stock Android, I love the camera, I love the dual speakers. This one just looks better to me and has uh, more stuff that I like. <laughs> I 
All right, so let me pause the video. I'll set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First up, let's talk about the build quality. Excellent. All right, now this is a plastic back with a plastic frame. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and a waterproof coating. Now, it is a fingerprint magnet, so if you like that nebula blue and you want to keep it shiny, walk around with your microfiber cleaning cloth. Now, on one side, there's your power button slash fingerprint sensor. Got your volume rocker on the top. It's got a little mic. The other side, nice and clean. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray. Got another mic, USB Type-C charging slot, and your speaker grill. Okay? Now, this phone, as big as it is, is still lightweight because of that plastic feel. So it's not heavy at all. Feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Fingerprint sensor on the side. Now this is one of the best fingerprint sensors that I've seen yet, especially with the side mounted ones. Look how fast that is. Bang, just like that. I'm gonna touch it with the wrong finger. Nothing, right finger, bang, there it is. You can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin, and you also got face unlock. Now, I'm gonna use this finger, not looking at it. Just looked at it, bang. Let's do that one more time. Okay, not looking at it. Look at it, bang, there it is. All right, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and you got smart lock. Now, I'm gonna try to make this quick, so I'm not gonna go through all of the settings, but I do wanna show you some stuff. So you do have your, your typical uh, <laughs> toggles. You got your auto rotate, ready for. All right, that's if you wanna connect your phone to your computer. Kind of like Dex, but in the uh, early stages of Dex. You got screencast. All right, Samsung Dex, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, D-E-X. You got screen record, screencast. Let's see anything else. You got your focus mode, bedtime mode, audio effects. That's when you plug in your headphones. You got your PC file transfer, auto Shazam, QR scanner, and live captions. Okay, let's go to settings real quick. Now, you do got NFC. All right, you got VPNs, private DNS. Let's go to display. Check this out. Bong. Now, you got auto refresh rate if you want to save some battery. But this is 5,000 milliamps, and I will say this. I used this phone all day yesterday. The battery life on this is crazy, all right? That's one of the things that I like about this over the Pixel also. This is literally all day, all night battery, if you know what you're doing. Now, if you put it on 144 hertz refresh rate, you will kill the battery a little bit faster. If this is gonna be a work phone and you need it to go for the full day, just leave it on auto or drop it to 60. Okay, let's see, anything else we need to check out? Let's go through some of the Moto features. Okay. Uh, oh, to <laughs> exit out. Let's go through the Moto features real quick. Now you got uh, personalized. All right, so you got your different styles and your wallpapers. No need to check that out. You got gestures. All right, so you got a bunch of gestures. Quick cap, you got quick capture. All right, twist your wrist. Bang. That's going to open up your camera. Let's do that again. All right, open up your camera. Let's, let's put it on always so we can see exactly how that works. So say you're outside, all right, and you see somebody about to get slapped in the mouth. Do your quick capture. Bang, just like that. Okay, what else we got? You got a three finger screenshot, okay? Now, you got power touch. Now, I turn, I turn this off because the fingerprint sensor is so sensitive, but watch this. All right, so if you touch the button twice, opens up your camera. Now, the only thing about that is if you leave it on, a lot of times, it's gonna touch, it. <laughs> the side of your finger is gonna touch by accident, it's gonna keep opening up your camera. That was happening to me all day. So unless you really need that, you're better off leaving the twisties, use the power touch for something else, or just turn it off. All right, so power touch, I'm gonna leave that off. All right, for the flashlight, we got the chops. Bang, here's your flashlight. <laughs> Almost broke my goddamn camera. All right, let's see. All right, that's the chops. You got lift to unlock. I'll show you how that works right now. Phone is on the table, chilling. You don't gotta press any buttons. Just lift it up and look at it, and it opens up. All right, so that's your lift to unlock. Flip for do not disturb. All right, so if your phone is on the table, you're having dinner, you get a phone call, just flip it, go to do not disturb. Pick up the silence, your phone is ringing, just pick it up, it'll stop ringing. All right, swipe the split, swipe and a half to go to split screen. That's pretty much it for the gestures. For display, you got peak display. Now I'll show you what that is right now. Hopefully I got any messages. Okay, check this out. Peak display, you see I got a message right there. If I want to click on that YouTube, I just press it, 
and I can just peek, peek at the notification real quick. That's why it's called peak display. You see, I got an Instagram. I just peek at it, bong. There's an Instagram. There's another one. And if I swipe up, it'll take me right to that. Put in my code real quick. Bong, and it'll take me right to that, that photo. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that was a family-friendly fr photo. Okay, so that's really much. Let's see. Anything else we need to look at? That's what display, media controls. That's pretty much it for that. I, basically, all your standard Android settings. Now, the key to this phone is the 144 hertz refresh rate. It is so smooth and silky. You can't see it on camera, but this is just breezing through the menus. I, when, you, when you're navigating your menus or you're on a website, like right now, I'm just on my Google feed. Look at that. Now, on camera, it might just look like regular scrolling speeds, but when you're holding the phone in your hand, it just feels silky smooth. I buttery smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever word is your favorite word to describe uh, the level of smoothness, apply that to this phone. All right, this is crazy. All right, so let's do some basic stuff. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay. Upper tier, mid range specs. So no issues. Breeze into the full website with all of the pictures. I, you really can't complain. You got split screen multitasking. Let's take it over to YouTube. Okay. Let's see what we got on YouTube. We got the, uh, <laughs> you ready for me? we got some of the Predators. <laughs> got the Predator verse. Let's see what's going on in the Predator verse. <laughs> you weren't really going to do it. All right, so you can watch them. Chris Hansen. So you brought condoms. You know what I'm saying? And shop at the what same else? time. All right. <laughs> Shout out to the T Cap community. We call that the Predator Verse. All right, not the Marvel, not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is the Predator Verse. All right, exit out of that. Now this is all my apps I had open at the same time. No issues with multitasking. Press one button, clear everything just like that. All right, so now let's take a look at the uh, speaker and see how it sounds. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier, aka Loop Daddy. Here we go. Yo, now this is max volume. This is my only gripe with this phone. Bottom firing speaker. This should have been dual speakers. <laughs> Now the speaker doesn't sound bad, but in this day and age, for 500 bucks, you should have dual speakers. All right, the one bottom fireman speaker, I don't like that, but it does sound good though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, so here's another difference between the Moto Edge and the Pixel 5a. The Moto Edge has an LCD display. The Pixel 5a has an AMOLED panel. Now, personally, I like the AMOLED displays better, but I also like bigger. All right, so I like the bigger display a little bit better, even though it is LCD. It does look great. Check this out. Full screen. Nice and bright. All the colors look good. Basically bezel-less, little punch hole camera. None of that stupid ass iPhone notch. I don't like the punch hole way better. Pretty good viewing angles. A great way to watch your content. Let's keep it moving. All right, so before we do a little bit of gaming, let's talk about game time mode. You see that little button on the side? If you press that, now you can block your calls, 
block your notifications. You can do screenshots, screen record, take it right over to settings. You can add an app and you can raise or lower the volume right from that little control. All right, that's pretty sick. And you can actually move that around. All right, do a little bit of gaming, Asphalt 9. Shoes, I see you. All right, here we go. All right, let's get it on. Okay. Oh, okay, crash. Oh, he nitro in two? Okay, let's go. Had to get him up out of there like that. Woo! All right, I usually take the bottom this time. Oh, I take the top this time. Oh, let's go. i never seen this. <laughs> oh, I see. I got to take this way next time. Woo! Oh, that was kind of dope. That was kind of dope. Y'all know I always take the right path. Take the left this time. All right, anyway, gaming on your modal edge, no issues at all. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now, say you happen to be chilling in your house and you got a cute ass cat laying on the table right next to you and you want to sneak a quick picture, grab your phone, twist it twice. That's going to open up the camera. Bung. Get that shot just like that. Okay, so that's your World Star Hip Hop button. All right, so let's go through some of the camera features. You got photos, okay? So you got your macro shots, you got wide angle, and you can zoom all the way up to 10 times. For video, if you swipe up, you got 4K, 30 frames per second, or you can do a full HD, 30 and 60, okay? Now you can also zoom in up to 10 times. Now if you swipe over one more time, you got portrait mode, uh, you got cutout, you got spot color. Now here's how spot color works. I'll show you that real quick. I right, said, so we'll just pick something and then we can edit out the background. You see, I left that blue. You see, look, now everything, everything is blue. Everything is black and white except for the picture. Now I did some nice pictures outside with that. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all one real quick. I'm not gonna upload it, I just want y'all to see it. How the spot color looks. It, spot color is actually a fun little app to play with. If you notice, you see with this one, I left my car red and everything else black and white except for that red car in the back. All right, so that's how spot color works. Let's see what else you got. You got night vision, you got a uh, cinema graph, you got panoramic shots, group selfie, got ultra high resolution, 108 megapixels. You got live filter, you got pro mode, scan, dual capture. So that could be you recording and the video at the same time. So both y'all in the shot. You got slow motion, time lapse, spot, cat, uh, spot color video and dual capture video. Okay, so you got dual capture with the photos and dual capture with the videos. Now, I did say earlier that the Google Pixel does have a little bit better camera, but this camera is pretty good also, all right? Take a look at these test pictures and videos.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. This is how you're gonna use your phone on a day-to-day -day basis. You wake up in the morning, your phone is on the table, you don't gotta pick it up, double tap it, you can see your time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications. Using peak display, I can just peek and look at all my notifications. Now, if y'all can't see what I'm doing, I'm just holding down and showing my notifications. Now, when I'm ready to wake up, I don't have to press anything, pick up the phone, just look at it, bong, opens up just like that. First thing we'll do, we'll check the weather. Okay, tomorrow, looks like 77 degrees, sunny day, beautiful, all right, end of the summer. I wanna do a quick search, go to samsung.com. Opening web page. Bong, take it right to Samsung, check for some accessories for this Galaxy Z Flip. Go crazy, if I want to, split screen multitasking. All right, I can do that. Let's um, let's do, let's do shop and check emails at the same time. Okay, so now while I'm shopping on Samsung, I can check my emails. Let's see ESPN Plus, just like that. All right, that's real multitasking, exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Facebook, see what's going down on the book. All right, let's see. All right, let's see anything. Okay, James Oro. Now, I, I definitely like the James Oro shades. James Oro shades, by the way, this is a great alternative to Cartier sunglasses. All right, now, if you like the Cartier rimless glasses, but you don't want to spend, you know, almost $2,000, these go for about a buck fifty. I always keep a set of these in the car. Real nice. All right, I rock with James Oro. Let's see, uh, Geech. All right, daughters, everybody's kids getting old. All right, I'm getting old, too. Shout out to Drea. I, Drea used to be my counselor. <laughs> I, when I was in high school, she was one of my counselors. She did a great job counseling by letting us drink 40 ounces and cut class. I right, shout out to Drea. <laughs> it's all good, though, because we we made it out. We made it out alive, though. All right. <laughs> New York Knicks. Let's see. The best passer in New York Knicks history is Mark Action Jackson. No brainer. All right, that's my opinion. Mark Action Jackson. Let's go. Let's see. Uh. Okay, Megan, all right, everybody looking good. Now look at this G-Shock right here. Oh, I like that, I, I like that rainbow G-Shock. That's pretty sick, okay. Speaker is kind of loud. You see how they covered up just now in order to talk? Speaker is definitely kind of loud. All right, let's see my man Dustin Allen. Look at look at those drinks, hold up. Look at that, that's, that's what I'm talking about, man. My man Dustin Allen is out here living life. You gotta like stuff like that. All right, let's keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay. Go to my mentions. Okay. Flossy Carter, you sold me on my first foldable. <laughs> my pleasure, yo. My pleasure. Welcome to welcome to the foldology. All right. Welcome to let me give you your degree in foldology. You are now a foldologist. Let's see. We got a. Uh, let's see, show it like a boss. What is that? Is that the same one from yesterday? <laughs> I did I'll, I'll add my reply to that one later. Okay, so we got a bunch of tweets. Now, I can put on night mode if I want, but I think for the video, it looks better in daytime mode. All right. And there it is. Ain't really nobody talking about me right now, so let's exit out of that. Next, take it over to TikTok. Yo, let's see what's going down on TikTok. Let's go to my page. Now, I did make a TikTok, just in case y'all don't, don't know. I do um, I do have a, a few TikToks, but um, I'll show you that later. Matter of fact, let's just, let's, just, let's just actually try to see some TikToks. Let's see what's going on. Because I never really scrolled through TikToks. Let's see what people actually do on TikTok. Okay, a man tried to come to my job and rob me. Okay, this looks interesting. You know, it's just slow start. I my, my patience. I I need action immediately. I'm gonna give it three more seconds. I right, this is this is one of those you gotta really get invested. I don't like that. Okay, oh wow. Okay. Somebody reaching in the door. Wow. Look at that. Somebody's reaching in the house. Yeah. He lucky that was a newspaper, because that would have been me. You know I was coming with my little unboxing knife. We opened in some packages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, anyway, so this is how your TikTok is going to look. Okay? My TikTok is, is very family-friendly. I like that. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Instagram. All right, now I'm just going through your basic social medias, because this is what you're going to be doing on your phone all day. All right, you're just going to be scrolling through. Let's see, uh, who's this? Oh, look at that. Ostriches. I love animals. Look at that. The ostriches is going crazy. 
I, I, I like that. Let's see, Bugatti versus Nissan Juke. All right, let's turn that up real quick. Bugatti versus oh, Nissan yeah. Juke. Oh, now you got copyright music. All right, anyway, Nissan Juke is definitely going to win. Look how light that thing is. That's basically a shopping cart on wheels. Okay, anyway, let's see. Um, shout out to my man, Seal. All right, that's actually one of my friends, yo. If, <laughs> if y'all see me and Seal talking in the comments, we're actually friends. All right, I'm not, I'm not clout chasing. He's actually one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. All right, let's see. Um, uh, let's keep it moving. Um, okay. Nice socks. Nice, nice sneakers. Okay, let's go ahead and like that. Okay. Okay, wine, wine your body. Wine your body. Okay. Ja Rule. Let's see what Ja talking about with this versus. So you're going to drag me through these who watching? Huh? Who, who watching the Ja Rule versus Fat Joe? I think that's on the 14th. I'm putting my money on on Fat Joe, even though um you know I do like both of them, but I'm I'm gonna have to go with Fat Joe. Who y'all who y'all picking? Missing persons alert. Okay, ain't got these uh, derelicts. Shout out to Common. Did y'all see that Common freestyle? He was really going ham. Let me save that because um I'm gonna have to listen to that later. Okay, we do this Calvin test. If you want to see the face, there it is. Okay, more James Oro sunglasses, and that's pretty much it. So this is how your regular daily activity is gonna look. Scroll through, all right, 144 hertz refresh rate. Look at that. Now, no lag on this phone. A lot of times when I take it over to my Google feed, people think that the phone is lagging. That's not lag, that's just your feed refreshing. Does it on this phone, does it on my Galaxy Fold, does it on my iPhone. It just takes a second to refresh, and then you're gonna get that immaculate scrolling speed. All right, this is a beast right here. All right, so anyway, overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Moto Edge 2021 a major, major go. And for 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. One of the best things about this phone is fully unlocked. So like I said, it's gonna work on every single carrier. It's a big giant phone as opposed to the Pixel. Now, like I said earlier, these are my two favorite mid-range phones, but if I had to choose, to me, I'm gonna have to go with a bigger phone with a bigger battery. Now the Pixel does have the dual speakers, which I love. It does have the headphone jack. I, it is water resistant. This is a nice compact phone that you could just drop in your pocket, especially if you already got a big giant phone. Maybe this is what you're looking for, something small to just drop in your pocket. This is also fully unlocked. It's gonna work on every carrier. But if it's gonna be your main phone, or say your main phone is a small phone and you want a big phone as your secondary uh, secondary phone, then this is the one you wanna go with. All right, I like this way better than the Stylus. All right, this phone, the camera is better than the G Stylus. You got the 144 hertz refresh rate, fingerprint sensor. This phone is silky smooth, no issues at all. All right, no issues at all. My biggest complaint would be no dual speakers, no headphone jack, no wireless charge. And I would uh, rather have AMOLED display over LCD. But for 500 bucks, I'm not gonna complain. This is a great mid-range phone. Anyway, Moto Edge, I know my OCD is just unbelievable. This phone just looks beautiful too. I love how it looks when it's in its full nebula glory. Anyway, Moto Edge 2021. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. I already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys to laugh. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss on that one. Deuce. Spock won the beam up. Energize.
I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the Real Tech Reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.